All right, so we're going to do our first example here. Um, now, the problem, as, as is stated in the textbook, asks us to sketch this line segment. And as I mentioned, it's, it's a bit of a fool's errand to try to actually accurately sketch these things, but we'll, we'll give it a try once in our life just to maybe illustrate the difficulties with doing this. And then we'll move on to the, uh, the next part, which is finding the length of the segment. Now, that part is really simple um, because we have a formula. It's a simply a matter of just plugging the numbers into the, into the formula. Um, so let's see if we can sketch this. P, 1, 4, minus 1. So the 1, the x-coordinate, is how far out do we want to go along the x-axis? So we go sort of out one unit in the x-direction, right? And we want to go over 1, 2, 3, 4 units in the y-direction. So we think about kind of drawing it like that. All right, that gets us to the point 1, 4, 0. Um, and then we've got to drop down one unit in the z direction. So we just kind of, yeah, let's think about just doing this. Okay, so drop it down one point, And there's 1, 4, negative 1. Okay, so that's our point P. Next, we want to do the point Q. So it says move out um, two units in the x direction. So we go 1, 2. Uh, and then over one unit in the y direction, so we're looking, okay, so there's the point 2, 1, 0. Uh, and then we move up 1 in the z direction. So we're going to go up 1, gets us to sort of something that looks like that. So let's call that our point Q. Um, and again, the trouble with you know, three-dimensional coordinates, I mean, that looks like it's sitting just off the x-axis. It's not really, um, you know, it's, it's up in space. Uh, and now the drawing the line segment is a matter of connecting the dots. There we are. Okay. So, of course, the, the right way to do this is with software. Um, it's software that will handle sort of three-dimensional vector graphics, and that'll let you actually, you know, see what this line segment looks like which is a lot nicer, because um, you can usually rotate your viewpoint, look at it from various different angles, get a very better idea of what that line segment looks like, right? Um, and in fact, in the textbook, is, especially if you're using the HTML version of the textbook, right? Uh, the 3D graphics in the book are all interactive. You can actually click and drag to rotate those or use your finger if you're on your phone, and you can actually move those around to get a better idea of what it looks like. Uh, now. Finding the length of the segment, well, that's the same as the distance between the two points, P and Q, right? So uh, to find the length, the, well, that's the same thing as just this distance from P to Q. Sometimes you'll see this notation used. And so what does that look like? Well, we're going to use our distance formula over here. So first we take the difference between the two x coordinates. Here we are. So we'll do final minus initial, so q minus p, so we do uh, 2 subtract 1, and we square that, right? Now we do the y coordinates, 1 minus 4, and we're going to square that. And finally, the z coordinates, and let's just get that x out of the way. Okay. So for the z coordinates, we have 1 subtract uh, minus 1 square that. Watch out for the double negative. That's probably the biggest pitfall that you're going to run into doing these um, is a sign error because there's a lot of subtraction going on. Okay, so 2 minus 1. 1 squared minus 3 squared and then that's minus minus becomes plus. So 1 plus 1 is going to give us 2, right? 2 squared. So we get the square root of 1 plus 9 plus 4, or square root of 14 as the length of the segment. 